So we are still going to be giving away black markets every single day. And here's number 79 on screen right now, as well as the white fennec at 355k. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed. And hey, you could be picked out next. So with the titanium white dominance hitting that item shop, everyone just thought, right, that's it for Rocket League trading. But to be fair, take a look at the spreadsheet. There is a glimpse of hope. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always. And obviously, if you're a Titanium White Dominus owner, I felt sorry for you a few days ago when it arrived into the shop. But now, the tables are definitely turning for a lot of items with credit demand finally dropping. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Daily Rocket League trading content just like this. 1k thumbs up if you want to see more. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Quickly, before we do jump into this video, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel, AOA.com. So I've been working with these guys for several years now, and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any Rocket League item. And by using the code in the description, you are going to get yourself 6% off every single purchase. So once again, we are going to be going on to Rocket League Insider and picking out the most popular items over the past 24 hours on there. Therefore, there's no bias tree in the comments, etc. So yeah, let's jump straight to it. First of all, we have got the white oxide. Obviously, this thing on the spreadsheet has gone from 12,000 to nearly 14,000 credits in the past couple of days when the Dominus has obviously settled down. And to be fair, there is massive speculation and massive rumors this thing's going to be in the shop in 2022. But now, I think you're going to be fine for the next few months. So yeah, massive profit could be made investing into that thing. Next up, we have got the white Dominus, which it's slightly gone up. Obviously, nowhere near the extent, but it's gone up one or 2,000 credits over the past couple of days. And like I said, the rarity on this import version is still going to be so, so valid, obviously, because there's only exotic versions in the shop. So, yeah, could have the chance of rising again. We'll have to wait and see. Then the white fennec, it's doing extremely meh. It's been about 2.5k for the past few months. And as soon as it slapped into the shop, definitely got destroyed in the price. So, definitely not an investment you want to be going for. And, yeah, once again, it's going to be the same scenario for the white zombies, to be fair. Just because they're not really doing anything right now. They dropped a little bit on the spreadsheet. And... Right now, not the most reliable thing in the world, just because I feel like they're a bit old news, to be fair. And we have got ourselves the regular Fennec, which right now, despite on the spreadsheet, practically doing nothing. You know, 400 credits is going to be the price you need to pay if you want to get one of these things, maybe even less. But there is something you need to notice. The Dingo is up next, and that thing has been completely wiped out of popularity. Like, this thing was hyped up when it first came out. But demand has dropped massively and it's been dropping ever since. So definitely not, not an item you want to go with right now, to be fair. Then Titanium White Mainframe. This thing's gone from about 8.5k credits to a massive spike right there being 11,000 or just above 11,000 credits. So maybe a good investment. Obviously, this thing is so like rumored to come to the shop. Like people are speculating it's happened, especially with the Dominus going in recently. But yeah, honestly, if it doesn't come to the shop, could be a fat, fat investment for a lot of profit. Then we've got a Crimson Ox sandwich right now. Yeah. Not doing great. Like, the crimson just a bit weird right now. Like, all of the oxygen colors, except from white, just seem to be dropping rapidly right now. Obviously, those spikes down were from a few days ago when the titanium white dominus was in the shop. And credit demand was ridiculously high. But obviously, it's settled down right now, which is great for investments to finally rise again. So, we'll have to wait and see. Then, Interstellar. Gone up a tiny bit on the spreadsheet, but once again, it's a decal you want to buy if you want to just settle and not trade. Because it looks amazing. And yeah, for investments... Not really what you want to be working with, but it just it looks incredibly good to be fair. Then white emeralds, like it's just such a it's such a shame because Rocket League technically lied to us because they said early of the season four they were going to showcase some new stuff about RCS. We have heard literally nothing. I've seen other YouTubers making videos on it, but it is appalling. They just don't keep us updated at all like they promised they would. So yeah, I do feel sorry for the white emeralds owners right now. I have to be honest with you. But yeah, next up white dingo. Similar scenario, like it didn't really drop when the white Dominus came in. It just stayed flatlining and it's gone down recently again. And once again, like I said, Dingo dropped in demand rapidly. So maybe not the best investment right now. Then we've got Dissolver. Once again, it drops due to the credit demand. Like all of these like casual standard items definitely are going to slip when there's credit demand. But credit demand's gone down again. So it could be good for investments. We will have to wait and see. Mainframe, literally in the same boat. Like they're practically, they practically follow each other, the Discord. Discord, what am I about? is over and also this you can tell i'm filming this quite late and we got the black standard which has been flatlining but recently went up a tiny bit on the spreadsheet obviously to recap that flat line but yeah right now 2000 credits is a fair price and it is extremely popular so if it goes in the shop wouldn't be surprised at this point honestly because non-crate stuff can definitely go in like the octanes next up lime octane once again a massive risk if they bring out a musty bundle because they haven't for a while now any creator bundle so maybe they're working on something we won't know just because rocket League just don't keep us up to date but yeah we'll have to wait and see then we got julian dragons 
actually went up a decent amount because it was 900 credits. Now it's 1.3. But it's been flatlining for nearly two weeks now. So not a clue what that's going to be doing. Then you've got Sky Blue Octane. Which, yeah, once again, when the Dominus came out, credit demand goes down or up, should I say. And, yeah, that thing obviously drops on the spreadsheet. But it's gone up a tiny bit right now due to the credit demand finally slipping down again. But, yeah, Beta Nugga is it's the same scenario. Once again, about 20,000 credits has been for the past few months. So it could be a good investment. We'll just have to wait and see on that thing. Then we have got the White Standard, which, yeah, fair enough again. It's dropped a little bit, but... Not really been affected by the Dominus, and yeah, it's going to sit just shy of a 1,000 credits for a while, I do believe. Then we have got my favorite black market in the whole entire game. It's going to be the Titanium White Interstellar. Once again, looks amazing, and it's been sitting around 1.7k for the longest time now, and yeah, not great for investments, but if you want to get a decal that looks amazing, definitely go ahead and get that thing. It looks so, so good. Then, Stipplegate. I swear, this thing has been the same price for the longest time ever. I remember back in the day for nothing something, it was 1.2. I used to pay like 900 to 1k to flip it for easy profit. But now, yeah, that thing has just been flatlining for the longest time ever. No clue what it's doing. Then, Titanium by Ox Oxane RCS X, which it could be good. But the word there is could. Because if Rocket League sort out their game, update it, and chuck in either new rewards or discontinue these, I can see them going up massively. But... It's just right now we're not receiving any information, so I wouldn't go near them just yet anyway. Then Big Splash, been the same sort of price, about 300 credits for the longest time. And yeah, that thing, once again, is going to be in the bin until we hear new news. Then we've got a white Apex Mills. These things, they're doing all right. They've been going up and down quite scary. Like, it, think about that. Those drops right there are going to be about 10,000 credits each. So if you're an Apex buyer and you buy and then it drops massively, that's going to be an L. But if you bought really cheap, they went up 10,000 credits. Yeah, that's obviously going to be a W. Then final item, 20XX. Once again, that figure's been the same price forever now. So all in all, there's actually a little bit of hope for the Rocket League market. I know I keep saying it, but now credit demand finally dropped a little bit and the most popular items in the game are seeing some hope. But just, I'll be honest with you, you know, we can keep on having updates with brand new black markets every like four or five months, but the main thing that's going to affect the market and for the most is going to be the investments kicking into play with the brand new RLCSs. So we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, if you're new around here, make sure you're subscribing. I'm going to keep you up to date. Literally everything Rocket League trading related. And yeah, 1K thumbs up would mean the absolute world. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Just rolling past me All my memories rolling past me